How's it going guys? So, let's talk about this upcoming unification at Super Featherweight. Vasil Lomachenko is going to be defending his WBO title against uh, WBA champion Jason Sosa. Now, um, Lomachenko was originally supposed to fight Jezreel Corrales, but for whatever reason that fight isn't happening. And uh, Jason Sosa has uh, taken the place. And you know what guys? I actually prefer this fight. I really do. I think that Jason Sosa is a respectable champion. Uh, he's tough. He's durable. He comes to fight. He's got very good stamina. Uh, he can fight inside. He's got a nice, good, tight guard. Um, and, you know, he's, he's a very difficult guy to deal with. He's relentless in the ring. I was very impressed by his performance against Smith. Uh, it was a dominant performance. Certainly more one-sided than the scoring suggests. That fight was over in Monaco. And, uh, yeah, it was a very good performance. I thought he boxed very well in that fight. You know, he showed a lot of um, a lot of uh, relentlessness coming forward and, and good pressure and good defense coming forward, too. And he, he looked really good. He also defeated um, Javier Fortuna. It was an upset defeat, I believe. Um, yeah, very good performance by, by Sosa. You know, he, he's a guy who has exceeded expectations so far in his career. He fought Nicholas Walters and, and fought to a draw. Many people thought he was going to get destroyed in that fight. But it was a close fight and a competitive fight. Um, I know that HBO wants you to believe that it was a one-sided fight. It really wasn't. It was a very competitive fight. And um, and uh, I have no problem with a draw. You know, it was that kind of fight. So, um, yeah, you know, Jason Sosa, if nothing else, he's a very tough, very durable, uh, very respectable champion. He's the WBA champion. And um, I'm looking forward to this fight. It's going to be a good test for, for Lomachenko. Now, it has to be said that Lomachenko is rightfully so the favourite. Um, I mean, Lomachenko completely dominated and embarrassed Nicholas Walters, who in his fight prior to that had a draw with, with Sosa. So, you know, it really looks to me like this is a fight that Lomachenko is expected to win. However, Sosa certainly provides a, dif a difficult challenge, difficult test, but I'm, I'm going with uh, Lomachenko to win. I know this is early in the prediction, but yeah, I mean, I think it's safe to say that Lomachenko is probably going to win the fight. I mean, he's just too... Yeah, he's he's just too well rounded. I mean, there isn't really anything and any flaws that stand out with Lomachenko. I mean, he does everything really well. He's a fantastic athlete, great stamina, uh, great punch output. You know, throws a lot of punches. Uh, he's very accurate with his combinations. Uh, he's a southpaw. He's slick. Uh, he's uh, very fast, both with his feet and his hands. Uh, great defense. Um, you know, he's just he's just. Oh, you know, he's the most well-rounded fighter in boxing, in my opinion, Lomachenko. He's fantastic. And uh, how I think this fight's going to go, I think that Jason Sosa will come to fight. I think he'll give it a go. I think he'll be aggressive. And I think he'll, you know, I, I can't see Jason Sosa coming into the ring thinking that he's going to try and outbox Lomachenko. I don't see that happening. I think that Jason Sosa is smart enough to understand that if he tries to box on the outside, like, like uh, Gary Russell did and like... Um, uh, Walters did and whatnot, you know, it's just not going to work, you know, in order for him to have any chance of, of uh, springing an upset here, he's going to have to be very dirty, very rough, very, um, he, you know, just, just very rough, he's going to have to get in there and really try and push Lomachenko around and try and impose his size on Lomachenko and really uh, drag Lomachenko into a dogfight because if this is a, if this is a boxing match, it's just a complete mismatch, okay, Lomachenko could just hang back and easily outbox Sosa without any trouble. And, uh, you know, if Sosa tries to just stay outside and have a jabbing contest, I mean, how is that going to work out for him? It's really not, is it? So the only chance that Sosa has here is to really try and impose his will on on um, Lomachenko, who's a, a great technical boxer. But the problem with that is Lomachenko is also a knockout puncher, okay? As we've seen as his career has developed, He's sitting down on his punches a lot more. Like when he first turned pro, obviously he was still transitioning from the amateurs. So he was still throwing a lot of pitter patter shots and looking to score points. But as his career has progressed, he's hitting a lot harder and he's been getting some very impressive knockouts recently. I mean, he was able to put um, Rocky Martinez to sleep and of course he got the stoppage against Nicholas Walters. So 
I mean, the guy hits very hard, okay? He's a very hard puncher for his weight. So I think that even if Jason Solter gets in there and tries to rough him up, who's to say that Lomachenko can't handle it? I mean, who's to say that Lomachenko can't do the exact same thing to him? So yeah, the more I think about this fight, although I still like the fight, it's a unification. I always like unifications. Uh, and, and I do think that Sosa has a better chance than, than Jezreel Corrales did against Lomachenko. I mean, Jezreel Corrales against Lomachenko, in my opinion, was a mismatch. Because, I mean, Lomachenko has already proved that he can fight a slick, fast southpaw and completely outbox them. I mean, he already did it to Gary Russell. And that was only in his third professional fight against a guy who was very experienced as a pro. So, you know, I think um, if Lomachenko can figure out Gary Russell Jr. so quickly and outbox him the way that he did, even though even though Gary Russell Jr. had a hand speed advantage. I think that against someone like Jezero Corrales, I think it would be a, a similar situation, but I think it would be even more one-sided than the Russell fight. So, yeah, I think that Lomachenko would have schooled Jezero Corrales. I really don't see anything that he could have done to beat, to beat Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko has seen that style time and time again as an amateur, and I think he would have just outboxed him. But, um, you know, Jason Sosa, at least Jason Sosa, you know, is, is has proven his durability. You know, he's proven his toughness. And uh, I think that, you know, Jason Sosa, I don't know, maybe there's things that he can do on the inside. Maybe he can rough Lomachenko up. We'll have to wait and see. But I think it's that kind of fight. It's a very good fight. Um, and, and it's a, a fight that I will be favouring Lomachenko to win. What I'm not sure about, though, is I'm not sure if this fight will be a stoppage or not. Now, I can't see I can't see Sosa quitting on his stool the way that Nicholas Walters did. And, and when you think about it, I mean, Nicholas Walters had the ability to go the distance. I mean, he wasn't really particularly hurt in the fight. He just got completely outboxed, schooled and embarrassed. And, and he was being completely clowned in the ring. And I think it was a result of um, being tired because he was, he was made to miss so much and getting a lot of uh, embarrassment. With, uh, with how one-sided the fight was that, that led to him quitting in the corner. But I don't think that Jason Sosa is the type of fighter that would quit in the corner like that. I think to make him quit, you would you would really have to beat him up a bit. So I'm not sure if uh, Lomachenko will get the stoppage. I mean, obviously, he's got the power to knock Sosa out. But, you know, Sosa, to me, is a little bit better defensively and a little bit more durable than, than someone like uh, Rocky Martinez. So you never know. It could be a situation where... Lomachenko dominates him, but but um, Sosa hangs in there just just enough to get through the fight. So it could be a, a, a wide unanimous decision. I think that's the most likely outcome. Now, like I said, a stoppage is certainly possible, but I think the smart money here would probably be on a decision. But look, don't don't hold me to that because Lomachenko. You know, I, I didn't expect him to stop Walters. I thought that fight was going to go the distance too, and it didn't. So, I mean, Lomachenko could certainly get the stoppage. It's not with, it's not beyond possibility. So, and I was, I was picking him to stop uh, Corrales when that fight was being talked about. It's just that Sosa, I think Sosa is a tough guy. I do. I think he's durable. So, we'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you guys think. I'm going with Lomachenko to dominate the fight on points. And uh, a late stoppage, I certainly wouldn't rule out. So let me know what you guys think. And thanks for watching.